Hello and welcome everybody. This is the video about the labyrinth. We must do the labyrinth to ascend. Ascendancies are class subspecs. So if you are a witch, you can become an elementalist. To become an elementalist, you must go through the lab. We only ascend in the first time we do the first lab, but there are four labs and each one of them will also grant you points, ascendancy points. Before you ascend, in here where there should be your character's portrait it will show the witch after we have ascended into an occultist it will change to this drawing here and this pop-up menu is going to be enabled when we ascend for the first time we're gonna choose between the ascendances we can have so if you are a witch a necromancer a elementalist or an occultist when we ascend we receive two points so we can spec into any of these things here. This character here is already level 68 and it has done the first three laps, the normal lab, the cruel lab and the merciless lab. Now it's just missing the uber lab which only have access in yellow maps. So how we have access to the first laps? First thing you must do is go to act three. Once we reach act three in the campaign, you will see that here over the staircase there will be a plaque with these balls here kind of lighted up once all six are lit up you can enter the aspirin plaza after entering the aspirin plaza once with the character you're going to click on the waypoint so you can access from any waypoint okay even from your hideout in here we've got the labyrinth activation device once you click here it's going to show you it's going to give you the options of what labyrinth you want to run. You can see that in the first labyrinth, this is what we call the normal labyrinth. It has six things here. These are the six trials we must complete in the part one of the game. Very important. When we say part one, we mean this part one from act one to act five. When we say part two, we mean from act six to act ten. In the part one, you're going to have access to six trials so you can ascend once the second and the third ascendancy or the second and the third times you ascend it is going to be on the part two of the game and the eternal labyrinth is in the end game is when we start doing maps and then maps are divided into white yellow and red maps technically you don't need to get yellow maps you just need this little thing here offering to the goddess you just need that but if you're playing a solo cell found or you will start in the league you're gonna have to get probably gonna have to get to yellow maps and then find one in a labyrinth trial within a map let's talk about the other trials the regular trials for the normal labyrinth for the cruel and for the merciless for the normal labyrinth we can get all of these trials once we reach act three there is one trial in act one there's two trials in act two and three trials in act three they are the lower prison in the crypt, in the chamber of scenes, in the crematorium, in the catacombs, and in the imperial gardens. For the cruel lamb, we need three trials only, and then three trials for the merciless. For these three here, look this, the lower prison in act one, the lower prison in act six, the crypt in act two, the crypt in act seven, the chamber of scenes in act two, level two always, the chamber of scenes level 2 in act 7. Next one, the crematorium, act 3. The crematorium, oh uh, no, the crematorium doesn't exist in act 8, so it's gonna be in the bathhouse, in the tunnel, and in the ossuary. Now, once you have completed those trials, you can then run the labyrinth. The labyrinth is a random generated zone, but it obeys the logic of the labyrinth, and every day the entire layout changes when i say the entire layout i'm gonna tr show you a website here it's called poe lab the poe lab is as far as i know ran by suit size mal shout out because this person runs the lab every single day to do this here to create this map that shows you the layout so we have the first zone, then the first zone is connected directly to the first Izaro fight, 
then to another zone which has an alterna alternative zone here or straight to the fight depends what doors you find in the labyrinth and all of these symbols here they have the legend here a very little summary here is the labyrinth usually is top right so you're usually gonna exit the door you entered and i'm gonna go top and right of the area doing whatever turns you have to do it says here that these blue balls here that indicate that the exit is to the top right this is roughly the direction and after doing the labyrinth six seven times you're gonna see that all layouts are basically equal okay it's not much of a labyrinth but you have extra things in each room which are dark shrines gauntlets puzzles sometimes you're gonna have rooms like this one which you have one path to the next room and one path to a different room and sometimes it's faster to go to the different room and then go to the to the tertiary room so it's going to be indicated by a yellow marking usually it happens in the merciless lab or in the uber lab other things to understand this thing here is a silver door this is a golden door silver doors mean that there will be a chest with good rewards inside in the normal and the cruel lab the first two usually the silver key to the silver door is always in the same room after you get to merciless and uber lab the key is in a different room so you're gonna have to go to that room get the key and then go back the silver doors are optional the golden doors are not optional you must go through the golden door to continue the golden door usually in the merciless lab is in the same room as the golden door so you're gonna have to find a zone where there's a gauntlet there is a trap you're gonna have to work around it get the golden key go back to where there are two golden doors and you're gonna decide and here is gonna tell you the one to the left goes straight to the zero fight the one to the right goes to another room and then you can get to the fight yeah. you can always finish the labyrinth choosing whatever golden door but maybe one of them is going to be shorter or it's going to take you to a different challenge for example this orange a this orange a means argus argus is the pet of Izaro, which is the person we fight in the labyrinth if you kill argus be careful okay he deals a lot of physical damage if you kill argus you're going to receive an extra key to open the treasures at the end of the labyrinth dark shrines are buff shrines that last for the entire labyrinth for that labyrinth and also if you die in the labyrinth bye bye you gotta restart over new zone all shrines all keys all progress you have done is just gone the only progress is not gone if you die in the labyrinth is if you have unlocked the recipes because every labyrinth you enter for the first time there will be a crafting recipe before the door of the Zaro fight that is okay once you click it it's unlocked that's it and of course if you if you have ascended and then you die in a second trial you're not gonna lose your ascendancy that's that's not gonna happen okay in poe we cannot lose class you cannot lose uh, levels also is our fight changes every day it changes based on the weapons he has Again, one more shout out to Suicide Small here, because she writes down here the difficulty of the fight and what weapon. So in this case, he's using dual swords. And you can see that here it says extra keys. It's because when we find Izaro, there will be like three kind of helpers he's gonna have. It's gonna be traps, it's gonna be essences, it's gonna be phones, sentries, darts. There's gonna be something there. In the first fight here, in the fight number one, you can receive an extra key if you kill Izaro quickly. So if you don't kill the essences that are with him. In the second one, kill him quickly as well and don't deactivate the fonts. And we can automatically deactivate these things by getting an item as we go through the labyrinth. The most important thing for the labyrinth to worry is take your time. Because if you die, you gotta go back to the beginning. Let's go through a little run here. I'm gonna run a merciless lab. Because I'm just level 68, so it's gonna be a little good XP. So, in the zone that I am here, if you look 
to the minimap, you can see that technically I'm in front of a door opening. But there is no door. Why? Because there is a switch here. This is a, sec a secret room to a dark shrine. Dark shrines are always behind secret doors. So it opened the door. Now be careful. There are creatures inside. Like a lot of them. I'm gonna hit the button here. Ah, not many this time. Okay. Usually it's just like one tight room like this and there's like a pack of creatures inside. So always be careful when you open because you cannot see through that until you are inside the zone. So usually just cast there and put your totem down and then you're gonna be safe. When you get the dark shrine, the dark shrine is a random thing. Maybe you're gonna get an extra key, maybe he's going to maybe it's going to deactivate the traps in the fight. Maybe you're gonna get a lot of extra regen, life regen. I think in our case here we got big. Yes, because we don't have 2.7k life, do we? Oh, by the way, I haven't fixed my resists yet. <laughs> and I keep on running the lab. I haven't died yet. But... <laughs> so, we can go here to kill Argus. There is a gauntlet here as well, right? Yeah, there is a gauntlet in this one. So, here, unlock a door. This is a gauntlet. There are various kind of gauntlets. So, gauntlets are like those these little challenges. Uh, in this case here, yes, with darts and uh, the rolling things, and that's it. Unlock the door, open the labyrinth trove, you're gonna get some loot, that's it. Nothing too good here. Now here, we can click in the current location, it's gonna tell you what room you are, and what room you're going to. So we wanna go here, and here we wanna find Argus. Here there is a, a, a gauntlet. This is a scorting gauntlet. Usually people don't do this because it takes a long time. I'm gonna do it just to show you an example. So basically it's like the quest we've done in Act 6. If you have done that. Already. But it's a little slower. A little secret here is always be moving. Oh my god, what damage was that? The fuck? Oh, I don't have my resist cap. Fire damage is just killing me. Okay. Now, remember, your totem is a big helper. The Koi totem down. Ta -da. That's it. Divine life flask. I want those babies. Let's see. We got a treasure key. Nothing too good, Chi. There is a lot of blood here, right? So we know Argus has been around here. So here's the door. He's always going to be behind the door. Totem down. And here's the baby. Something that I didn't explain in the last video because this video here is being recorded much after the one that I released before. Ta-da! Treasure key. One thing I, I didn't say on that video, it's because I found out this recently, is this character here, I instead of doing this path that I did here, I kind of did that, but I went through the cast speed area here and then went here and got only damage over time generic nodes like this one and this one in fact i haven't even got the chaos damage over time here and here because we're using penance brand to level up i'm sorry winter tide brand because it deals damage over time it slows enemy and uh, we have access in act one so that's like it's much better much better in fact before the next league on the 330 319 i'm probably gonna do another run but a little shorter video with just the details of using penance brand because i still have penance brand in my setup on a four link i think it's here it's in the three link where is that oh here winter tide brand control destruction efficacy and hypothermia and it's amazing the only thing it's not best at is because chaos damage 
bypasses energy shield and some enemies have like a lot of energy shield and then it's kind of like until the energy shield is gone basically the enemy is dead brand 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 pain totem light that's it oh, you can see his life doesn't go down anymore because he's stuck in animation and that's very worrying be careful So here's the golden door. There is no way we can continue our adventure unless we open one of them. So in this area, you're gonna have to explore and find something called an annex. In this merciless labyrinth here, it's not in an annex. That you um you had you 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 could you do you you want you you could in an annex room it is just here so we just have to do this kind of gauntlet thing here to get the key i don't think it's this way i think it's that way here that's it then we got the key this is the same for the silver doors at the normal crew and merciless lab usually they are in the same room in fact, silver doors in the Merciless Lab, they tend to be in different rooms already. Yes. So here, if we open to the right, we're gonna have access to a room which there is a gauntlet or something that gives us a key. And if we go to the left, we go straight to the fight. So let's go to the left. Technically, one thing we could do, we entered through this room, right? Technically, we could go to this room here. We cannot skip the fight. But we are in this room here, because we can do this kind of access. But after you have done the Izaro fight, then you cannot go back to another room, okay, that you left behind. But this is a nice little trick most people don't know. And here is the recipe, the crafting recipe. But because we have got it, we can like re-unlock it, right? So again, this is a very long animation. Our decoy tunnel doesn't last very long. So when it's finishing there. Decoy Totem, Wither Totem, Bane, Brand, Brand, and Blight. Okay, the Totem, the Decoy Totem faded, so I, be careful. Okay. Oh, here's the Dark Shrine again. Look, there is an entrance on the wall, but there's nothing here, so we have to mouse over the wall over here to find a switch. Found the switch. Decoy totem. Oh, more enemies. Okay, now we got big. <laughs> this is the, the buffer totem that we get big. Our life went up by 400 and our energy shield, I'm not sure how, how much. Mm, okay a good room now in this room there's another dark shrine I don't want to do that but I want to go top right okay this one the the crossing is always an external area usually you're gonna have to do this okay so just hug this wall here okay when it starts going up like a lot like this one here then you go to the right Oh my god. Okay, this one, as we see here, it is to the south of this one. So probably the next door is like here. There it is. It's been trial. Once we kill him, be careful when you're gonna get the keys on the floor. Because maybe the other enemies is gonna kill you. And this green circle around him is the most important thing we have to worry about. Because it teleports you to a random location. Not random location, it teleports you to the traps. 
Wow. Okay. Two chaos orbs? Jesus. Usually what I suggest people is don't do this what I just did. Rush to the altar and click. Once you click, you're gonna ascend. If you haven't ascended before, it's going to show you the three ascendances. You're gonna pick one. And you're gonna click in ascend. After that, you have ascended and you have the points. You don't have to allocate the points here. You can decide afterwards and you can respect afterwards as well. And then you can click in the divine font. Oh, one of the dark shrines we got is we have two enchantments. So let's see. When we get to the normal lab, we have access to the glove enchantment, then the cruel lab or glove or boots. And now we have helmet as well. The helmet one in the merciless lab, the third lab, the one we are now, it's considered like the tier two of helm enchants, but it is still good. If you get something that is usable for you, it's quite nice. So let's put this one here. Now it has this enchant. The other one we got. Oh, righteous fire has increased in the area. Ah, fuck! Can't believe in this one. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We were playing RF last league. I mean this league, and we never got the the enchant we wanted. Okay. The other detail here is after you have done the things you, you have to do here make sure to click in one more chest because sometimes we have extra keys and we don't remember thank you very much people if you have enjoyed the video if it has helped you please consider liking and subscribing to the channel a little spoiler of our next adventure we are going to make a video about act 4 to act 10 journey in a very fast forward way because our build doesn't change it's just navigating through the areas after that we're going to be talking about end game possibilities and end game mechanics hopefully before the next league comes around thank you very much and see you next time bye